There are a lot of super cool throwing knives in Sea of Thieves, 14 to be exact as of the making of this video, and if you're like me and want to collect all of them, you are in the right spot. To start out, we're going to get a few out of the way very fast. The Sailor Knife is the default one that you start with and get at any point by using the Armory and the Crimson Crypt, the Dark Warsmith, Deadlock Jailer, King's Ransom, Lodestar, and Motley Mariner Knife can all be bought in the Pirate Emporium for 249 ancient coins each. That leaves us with just 7 knives that are locked behind some kind of challenge. 4 of these knives come from completing various The War Chest Commendations. First up, we have the Cartographer Throwing Knives, which require you to complete the Commendation Triple Threat Thrower by defeating 3 skeletons with the Ranged Throwing Knife attack without going back for ammo. After this, you can purchase them in the Weaponsmith Shop for just 7,000 gold. The Sea Dog Throwing Knives can be unlocked by finishing up Grade 5 of the Backbone Stabber Commendation, which is a short grind, but it only requires you to defeat 150 skeletons. As far as I know, this can be done with any type of skeletons with any of the Throwing Knife attacks. These knives will also cost 7,000 gold. The Admiral Knives, that's right, are also going to cost 7,000 gold, but only after finishing the unique commendation, Tidal Fight. Getting this completed requires you to get the Killing Blow on a Skeleton Lord with the Ranged Throwing Knife attack. You don't have to be the only one fighting it, as long as you get the final hit, that's all that matters. And finally, the last throwing knife that you can get with the War Chest Commendations is the Royal Sovereign Throwing Knives. Getting this one may actually be the longest grind out of everything in this video, since you actually have to complete all of the War Chest Commendations to get this one. And just like all the other knives in this category, this one is also 7,000 gold. I highly recommend taking advantage of Skeleton Fort Raids or Skeleton Lord Bounty Raids to work on these, since they will both allow you to get to a lot of Skeletons and Skeleton Lords very quickly. Two of my favorite throwing knives in the game so far have to be the PvP faction ones. The Servants of the Flame throwing knives and the Guardians of Fortune throwing knives. Getting both of these actually requires a pretty similar process. You'll first have to get to rep level 50 in Servants of the Flame or Guardians of Fortune respectively, and then head down into the Athena's Fortune to purchase it from the Pirate Lord for the Guardian's Knife, or head to the Reaper's Hideout and talk to the NPC there in order to get the Servant's one. These knives will both set you back 94,500 gold. And last but absolutely not least, we have the Obsidian Bone Crusher Throwing Knives. These are probably the most difficult to unlock, but probably still less of a grind than the Royal Sovereign ones. Getting these unlocked requires you to get Grade 5 in the Secretive Stash Commendation, and to do this you'll need to sell the sword that you get from Sinking the Burning Blade, but the catch is that it also needs to have at least 3 or more rituals completed. And then, just repeat this 20 times. This will unlock it to be bought at the Weaponsmith Shop for 63,000 gold. This one may be pretty difficult, but it looks great, so it's probably worth it. 